Hello, in this video, we will demonstrate to open the DS200 ballot scanner on election day. All of the information you need is found in the Voting Equipment Officer Election Day Guide Binder, which is with the Chief Supplies. Before you get started, take a few couple minutes to review the instructions. It's usually best to have two officers of election working through this process, one reading the instructions and the other one to perform the process. Start by locating the forms that you will need to complete. They are in the second section of the binder. You will need the voting equipment opening and closing report, two copies of which, one goes to the clerk of the court, one goes to the office, and you will need the opening and closing checklist. Next, follow the checklist for opening the polls on the DS200 ballot scanner. Check off each step as you go through it to make sure that it's been completed. Okay, in the beginning it says confirm the seal number on the scanner matches the number on the voting equipment closing report sheet. The seal number is on the green tab that's in the front of the, the DS200. The number I have is 04222752. Correct. You check that against the uh, number that is put into the opening and closing report that shows the seal that was put on at the time of the final testing. And that gives you confidence that the machine is not been tampered with from the testing time until you open the polls. Leave a minimum of 36 inches on each side of the DS200 for accessibility. Next, get the keys from the clear envelope located at the front of the binder. We're going to use the silver key to unlock the back of the DS200 in order to plug it in. So the back of the DS200 is unlocked right here. take out the power cord, stretch it out as far as it can go. It has a surge protector on the end of it. We'll turn it back around and we'll plug it into the wall. Note when you plug it into the wall that there's a red and a green light on the surge protector. Those lights need to be on. You leave the back door of the DS200 open while it's in operation. And this silver bar that's here is to be in a down position. It says, it's got a tab on it that says, leave the bar in the down position. If you put the bar in the up position, all the ballots will jam. Put it in the down position. And then turn it back around and take your keys out of the back. Okay. Check that both ballot compartments and the blue ballot box are empty. The ballot, uh, two ballot compartments are here. This is the emergency ballot compartment. Unlock it with the same silver key. Open it up. Check to make sure that it's empty on the inside and that the silver plate is up so that it can't be used. And then the ballot box itself is in the lower compartment. Same silver key opens that. You'll open this up. Okay, you okay. want to ensure that the flaps on the blue ballot box insert are open and against the sides of the ballot compartment. We take out the blue ballot box to check to be sure that it's empty. You have to close the lid to put it back inside, but then you have to open it on the inside or else the ballots won't fall inside of it. Next, close and lock the lower ballot box compartment, then seal with an orange seal. The orange seal is found in the same place the keys were, which is in the front. That's the red seal, the orange seal. Oh, sorry about that. The serial number on the orange seal does not have to be recorded anywhere. Ensure that the emergency ballot bin's hinge slot is up and closed and the door is locked. Do not put a numbered seal on this door. That's the silver bar or silver uh, plate right here. Cut the green numbered seal and place an envelope seven. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, we're not gonna cut the seal so that we don't waste a seal, but it's already been taken off. This goes in envelope number seven. And you record the information, the number of the, uh, on the back of the envelope. Let me go 
detail in there. Unlock the outer cover, the clamshell, using the silver key. Again, we use the same silver key. We unlock the clamshell door. And lift it up. Next, unlock the scanner lid with the round key and open to turn on the scanner. This is the round key and there's the scanner lock. Now, if the scanner does not automatically power up, check to ensure it is plugged into an AC power and then close it and reopen the scanner. Ours is automatically powered up, so we don't have to do that step. Enter the election code located in the front of the Chief's binder and press accept. Now, for security, I'm going to stand in front of the machine to shield it from view so that you can't see the code that I put in. The scanner will print a configuration report and display the Open the Polls screen. Please wait. It's loading the election. In the meantime, I'm going to give the keys back to you. This takes a while. It does. Okay. Confirm the election date and precinct and the precinct names are correct. That's found at the top of the screen. The, sp the name of the election and the date. Make sure that, that that's correct. And then you're going to press open poll. Open poll is the large green button here. You press open polls. Now we're, the scanner is automatically printing three zero totals reports. Select go to voting mode. Voting mode is the green button here. Press that. The scanner is now ready to scan ballots. Now remove the, and secure the zero reports. Have all officers sign each zero report. Follow the instructions found in completing the statement of results. Document the information on the back of envelope 7 and voting equipment officer open and closing report. And that concludes our video on opening the DS-200. The next video will show how to close the DS-200 at the end of the election.